Okay, chums, well, I'm hitting up a review of Rebel Moon Part 2. Now, I thoroughly enjoyed Rebel Moon Part 1. I gave it a 10 out of 10. Maybe that was ill-placed. Mainly because movies that are in trilogies, you normally find the beginning is the hook. That one is a good episode. The second one can be hit and miss because sometimes it's just all character building. And then the last one is usually hit and miss in a trilogy as well. Because, you know, you either love or you hate the end, you know. Now, this is kind of run into that former recipe. The, bit, the first one, brilliant. Second one, this one. I would say there was quite a lot of talking inside of this one. A lot of character building inside of this one. And a lot of flashbacks and this is me and this is what I've done type stuff. But it almost felt a little bit underwhelming in some cases. And I have to say, a lot of the actual plot in this one just went out the freaking window. There were some really sort of sketchy moments where I thought, well, that just wouldn't happen. If these people are warmongers and they know the art of war, like the back of their freaking hand, and they also know that the Scar Giver used to be one of them, you would kind of think that they would, you know, expect a lot of this sort of stuff that was happening. And also they would have planned their attack a bit better rather than doing it in stages and waves. They would have just gone all out, you know? It just seems a little bit weird. And plus the actual general of all of these guys that went down there, he, he kind of leaves his troops behind. And you think, who in the right mind would do that? There was just lots of little things inside of this one. I was like, well, that's a plot hole. That's a plot hole. That's a plot hole. And it, it just kind of took away from Rebel Moon completely. Now, I do want to see the uncut version of this. Maybe the uncut version of it might salvage a few elements inside of this. But at the same time, I gave Rebel Moon Part 1 a 10 out of 10. Rebel Moon Part 2, I hate to say it, people, but I, I'm going to give this about a 6. It was watchable, but it's something that I probably wouldn't want to watch again. And because of that, I probably won't want to watch Part 1 again. Unless part three pulls it back and it's another freaking 10 out of 10. This is this is probably one to avoid, to be honest. It was watchable, but barely, people. A six out of 10 is what I'm giving this, peeps. Anyway, salute to Mondo. Hope you felt that was fair. Sound off in the comments. Let me know either way. Until next time. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.